This is a video introduction of our federal mini economy series local interface. I'm going to be showing you some of the new features on this particular DVR. To start, you can see this is a 16 channel. I have eight cameras connected to it and recording. This is the basic layout. And if you right click with the mouse, you will have different layout views that you can pick all the way through 16. Okay. Now, on this side, you can see on the right side uh, the snapshot window. Uh, and in this window, you can see all of the snapshots that the camera will take every time that it captures uh, a face. Uh, this particular DVR has a facial capture, and it's only on channel one. And it basically it takes a snapshot of the person that is approaching to the camera. If it's close enough, it will take a snapshot and it will display it here for easy access. Uh, the basic settings or features that this, this particular DVR has are similar to previous versions. The only thing is this a new interface is blue. We call it the 3.2 version. If you right click, you will have a set of menus and then you can uh, left click to get inside those menus. Uh, let's log into it, to the DVR. And now it has broken down in three sections. You have the operation section, the info section, and you have the settings section. Now, as you can see here, you can see the face search. This is a new feature that only this DVR has and is only on channel one. Let's start with the search interface. It's pretty similar to uh, previous uh, interfaces before. Uh, you can pick the day that you wanted to play back. You pick a particular time and the DVR will start playing back those files. You can basically double click on it to go full screen. You can take a snapshot if you need to. You can uh, do a smart search. A smart search is only on one view window. And it basically what it does is you select an area and you can detect if there was motion in that particular area. Let's try that really quick. Let's choose this time and let's choose a smart search. And if we wanted to detect something that happened in this area, we select it and we click Smart Search and that's it. That's one of the videos that it was taken based on that area. Uh, there you go, something crossed that little section that I selected, etc. It's very simple. And then you right click and you can exit. Also, we can go to the face search. I have uh, previously made some samples that the camera took. So I can just click, for example, this one, this good looking guy here. <laughs> I can double click and it basically takes uh, takes me to the video that took that snapshot and can easily see what occurred. Uh, very simple, just a double click on any of these snapshots and it basically takes you to that video. You can back up files to a USB if you wanted to, just uh, as before. This you can shut down and log out or reboot the unit. Under info, you can see uh, information about the system. For example, the hard drives, the recording, the bits per second, the version of the firmware. You can see any events that the uh, DVR has recorded, uh, the network events. If uh, you know how much speed is using on the network, you can do some tests on uh, devices on the network if you have an IP address. You can just basically type it in and hit test. And if something is there on the network, it will reply back. If it's not, it will not. You can go to logs. You can see all kinds of logs. For example, you can search. You can double click on it. You can see with detail every log that the DVR has recorded. Like you see uh, here that now everything is on tab. So pretty much I already cover the entire info section by just Click in any of these options and then I navigate throughout the tabs. It's very uh, simple to use. Now it's simplified on one window. It's got a settings, it's got a camera. In here you can set up how the camera color settings is going to be displaying at a certain period. You have a 24 hour period and then you can set certain things like brightness and sharpness and contrast, etc. One period. Then in the second period, you can have it to lower those settings as well. You can set up here the recording, how the cameras are going to be recording. This uh, DVR supports 
960H resolution, which is 30% higher than D1. Uh, it can record at 30 frames per second on all of the channels. Also, you can enable audio if you have a microphone connected. You can go to camera name and you can name how uh, the channels are going to be labeled. Let's jump to network. Here is the same type of con configurations you can do on this section like uh, previous uh, interfaces. You can have, you know, change your IP address, your gateway, subnet mask, etc. Uh, you can enable the amount of uh, connections that the DVR is going to allow on the network, change the ports, very easy. You can configure DDNS, TechPro DDNS. We have our own uh, TechPro DDNS. You can configure it here by typing techprodns.com as a server IP. You can enable FTP. You can enable mail uh, notification if you want it to receive a snapshot, for example. Uh, very easy to use, extremely easy and very uh, user friendly. Now, here you can see this is a uh, new feature that we added to our DVRs with the 3.2 version that allows you to add the DVR to the app of your phone, the TechProSS app, and then uh, automatically will do a point-to-point -point connection. So you will not have to open any ports on your router. As long as you have UPnP enabled on your uh, firewall or router, it should work. And obviously, the DVR has to be connected on the network. That's why it shows offline. I'm going to disable it, apply, and save. We, you can go to a now event. Now here is where you configure the motion events, how sensitive the camera is going to be, the regions. If you want to region out certain areas of your, of your cameras, you can do that as well. Uh, you can have four type of uh, regions that you can set. You can have one to be a higher region, the other section to be a lower region, for example. You can configure snapshots, buzzer when the camera detects motion. You can configure many things in here, as well as other things of uh, detections. Face detect, you can see here, is only for channel one. Just basically is enabled by default. You can configure the filter you know, the maximum size and the minimum size that the camera would recognize a facial and then do a capture of it. A normality, you can see uh, all of the events. Uh, you can set up, you know, to show you a message when the hard drive, when there's no hard drive on the network or on the, on the unit. The network is when the, the unit is disconnected from the network, it will show you a message, uh, do a buzzer. I mean, it, there is uh, many things that you can configure in here. Uh, under storage, you can configure your schedule. You can uh, enable snapshot schedule as well. HDD manage, you can uh, manage your hard drives. You can format them. You can set it to read only or write only. You can uh, also, uh, this particular unit only shows one drive and that's only what is, uh, is supported on this unit, only one uh, hard drive in it. Here you can turn on and off some of the channels that are going to be recording because I have eight cameras. I, I just turn on eight cameras and they're being uh, recorded based on the schedule that I configure. If I turn on the remaining cameras, or the remaining channels, those channels are going to be recorded, but there's no cameras in there. Also, you can record the substream and you can uh, record some snapshots if you have configured them. HD detect here, you can run a quick detection of the hard drive to see the status of it. Everything is good. You can see the detect report. Lastly, on system, you can configure general settings of the DVR, like the time, uh, what the hard drive is going to do when it fills up. Uh, you can turn on navigation bar, the startup wizard, etc. You can set up the time, NTP, DST. Uh, holidays, if you wanted to configure them in there, the display that is connected to the DVR itself, uh, it goes all the way to 1080p over HDMI. TV adjustment, if you have a video matrix or a video output, uh, a BNC video output, you can configure in there. Touring, if you have a matrix. Zero channel is uh, allows you to see on, on one channel all of the channels. So on one little window, you will be able to see all of the windows in here. And this is the resolution that they're going to be displaying on that. Right now is off. 
here, oops, go back. PTZ, you can configure the PTZs connected to the DVR. I have one on channel two, you can see here what I have. Under accounts, you can manage your accounts, add, delete, change passwords. Auto maintain is for you to have the DVR reboot uh, on a particular schedule if you want it. You can import and export the configurations and settings of your DVR to a flash drive. You can default the entire unit or you can upgrade it if you have a USB connected to it with uh, uh, proper uh, firmware. Lastly, let's uh, see some of the features that you can see in some of the channels. Right here, for example, you can play back real time uh, up to uh, five minutes. Right now, you it's configurable, so uh, by default it's five minutes. Also, you can uh, zoom in if you wanted to. You can click on it and then you can drag and you can zoom in there. And then you can move the picture. All right, right click to go out. Here is for you to back up, but right now there's no USB connected. Take a snapshot. And if you have audio, you can turn on the audio right there and listen to audio. All right, so this has been introduction of the local interface of our Federal Mini series DVR. And to finish, I'm going to show you the uh, a PDZ how you can uh, manage and move the PTZs from here. Very simple, because I'm using the DHSD1 protocol, I can just hit sit and I can draw a box right there and the camera will zoom into it. If I draw a box backwards, it will zoom out. I can zoom in and scroll in with the scroll of the mouse. I can also do PTZ trays while I'm holding the mouse, I can move the mouse to whatever position I want and the camera will follow that. Pretty cool. That has been a feature on our DVRs, you know, since uh, the first uh, local interface. You can zoom in, zoom out. Very easy to use. This has been the uh, introduction of our local interface of our federal mini economy uh, and this is the version 3.2 blue interface and I hope you like it.